pour the water out of his buckets and his seed shall be in many waters and his king shall be higher than Agag and his kingdom shall be exalted I really just stopped by to tell Mount Calvary on this morning get ready for buckets of blessing I can really go to my seat now that's really the only reason that I asked you to be here this morning because God said get ready for buckets of blessings I don't care where you are I don't care if you're riding in the car I don't care if you're sitting at the table at Bob Evans I don't care if you're eating a pancake at Perkins I want everybody everywhere that knows that God can't lie to stop right here Give God a bucket blessing for him. So the Bible says that God brought him forth out of Egypt and hath as it were the strength of a unicorn. He shall eat up the nations his enemies and break their bones and pierce them through with his arrows. The Bible said he laid down as a lion, as a great lion, who shall stir him up. Here's what I want. Blessed is he that blessed thee, and cursed is he that cursed thee. And the Bible said that Balak, he got mad and his anger was kindled against Balaam and the Bible said he smote his hands together and said to Balaam I call you to curse these people and behold you have blessed them all together you have blessed them in their spirit you have blessed them in their body you have blessed them in their finances and you didn't just stop there you had the nerve to bless their children and to bless their grandchildren he didn't know but he was under the auspices of the spirit and he blessed them with the trifold blessing he blessed them three times it would have been a wonderful thing if he had just blessed them one time but God said because they suffered so much because they cried so much because they waited so long because they prayed so fervently me blessing them one time is not enough me blessing them in one generation is not enough me blessing them in one place is not enough I'm gonna bless them with the threefold blessing I gotta go to my seat now but the Lord said when you go out and get on the way I want you to rise up and decree seven threefold blessings over my people I want you to get ready to give God seven praises because there is a seven there is seven blessings of a threefold nature that I'm getting ready to declare and I really 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 I really hope that you don't think that I'm just talking to be talking if I was in the flesh I'd be somewhere playing with Caden right now but God said when you get done preaching you can go play with your grandson but before playtime starts I need you to open your mouth and bless my people with the threefold blessing seven times number one I command you to be blessed in your spirit your mind and your body give him the first praise 
Let's go up to number two. I command your family, your finances, and your future to be blessed. Give him the second praise. Go up to the third praise. I command your ministry, your mission, and your money to be blessed. Giving the third praise. Hang on to that one for a few extra seconds because God's gonna provide every need with overflow. By the time we get to September, you're going to look at your bank account and say, where'd that come from? You're going to look at your bills and look at your receipts and say, I done fooled around and paid off all my debts. And just in case you don't believe he's a debt eliminating God, double, 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 double day to live till September. Somebody said the pastor must not know how much debt I have. That's not the problem. The problem is you don't know how much favor you have. And God told me to tell you I'm paying debts in full. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to praise him. Like you're in the sanctuary. I look silly shouting around this kitchen. You don't look silly. You look dead free. I look silly running around this front yard. You don't look silly. You look blessed. I look silly pulling this car off on the side of the road. You don't look ridiculous. God just paid that car off. You better praise him where you are so I can bless you where you are. You better lift your hands where you are so God can lift your burden where you are. You better open your mouth where you are so Jesus can open his mouth where I command your hopes, your dreams, and your visions to be blessed. That's the fourth command. I command your past, your present, and your future to be blessed. Matt, if I didn't have stints, I'd run around this church. I'm running Bless him. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay. Got another blessing. I command your children, your grandchildren, your great grandchildren to be blessed. They will never know a broke day. They will never live in debt. They will never go to prison. They will never be cursed by the adversary. They will never drink a Morgan David. They will never smoke a blunt. They will never shoot cocaine. I cover them with the blood. I cover their mind. Cover their virtue. I cover their gifts and anointing. And I command you to be blessed socially, vocationally, educationally. I gotta go. I'm out of time. I 
I'm going to my seat It's really over now But I I I, 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 I got one more scripture That I want to say Deuteronomy 28 Verse number 3 Blessed shalt thou be In the city Blessed shalt thou be In the field Blessed shall be The fruit of your body Blessed shall be The fruit of your ground Blessed shall be The fruit of your cattle Blessed shall be The increase of your kind Blessed shall be The flocks of thy sheep Blessed shall be Thy basket and store Blessed When you come in Blessed When you go out The Lord Shall command The Lord Shall command Who is The King of glory The Lord Strong and mighty Lift up your head Oh ye king Be ye lifted up Ye everlasting doors And the king Not the king of England Not the king of Wales Not the king of Sweden But the king Of glory Shall come in He's gonna bless Your land He's gonna bless Your property He's gonna bless Your business And the Lord Will make you plenteous In good The fruit of your body The fruit of your cattle The fruit of the ground And the Lord Shall open his good treasure and the heavens will give rain in your land in your season and you shall lend to many nations and not borrow